finally I got to go down there and get these strawberries netted. We had rain overnight and the strawberries are starting to ripen. I got to get that net on the strawberries today. So we have to do that. Then we have to go into the kitchen. I'm going to do a little cleaning up and I'm also going to be mixing up some pineapple meatballs. Our son and our children all love my pineapple meatballs. I'm going to mix that up. So I have that for a meal for tomorrow. And then I have to do a few of some vacuum sealing, some things. I got to do that. The longer I sit here, the, the longer the list gets, right? I was going to go ahead and transplant some of my herbs, but the garden is too wet. I'm not going to go in there and make a mud mess. Now, let's see if I can open up the screen and actually have it work. I don't know about you, but cleaning windows is something I really don't enjoy too much. These windows were horrible out here, but I do enjoy seeing when it's clean. I can see clearly now the rain is gone. It's gonna be a bright, bright, sunshiny day. It's gonna be a bright, bright, sunshiny day. Come on, sing it with me. I can see clearly now the rain is gone. Obstacles in my way. nothing quite like fresh air opening up windows opening up doors we live in a world where people just have air conditioning all the time I'm all for air conditioning when it's really hot but going from heat to air conditioning to heat to air conditioning you never get any fresh air in your house oxygen is important Now, let's see if I can get this window back in. I think I got it. I think I can, I think I can. I what I use, I use my own. This is rubbing alcohol with essential oils. Tell you what, this was really, really dirty. At least when you keep clean like me, you can tell when you did something and when you didn't. <laughs> because it's really dirty before I clean it. This is the perfect wash day. Bright sun not terribly humid, and a lot of breeze. And I had a lot of wash. So I'm finishing this up. I have one more load yet to do. And then we will finish all of the other projects I'm supposed to do. Oh my goodness. I think it's been three days now on videos that I said that I was going to be working on my strawberries. For some reason, I just keep getting distracted. All right, I've got it looking pretty good. I do have some pins I can use. And that's what it looks like. Now I'll keep this and then I'll just remove it when I need to harvest the strawberries in there. That left me with that mess. Now I gotta clean this all up.
looks like a wedding looks like a wedding dress doesn't it <laughs> it looks like something that you would make a wedding veil out of all right so we got this finished I did bring the rest of some of my herbs down while I'm down here I'm just gonna go ahead and plant them The garden is done. Now let's go up on the deck and do some of that work before we go into the kitchen. wash all these up so I can use them next year because you never know what a year can do and I find these days I try to let my money go as far as I possibly can because next year it's probably gonna be that much more expensive That's a nice one, that's a really strong one. And then these are great for rooting my grocery store fresh herbs. I root them and grow my own plants. And these are really nice for that. Did I ever tell you how much I love my rain barrel? <laughs> oh, I probably talk about it every day, don't I though? Just about. Wash this off. I'm gonna let this sit in the sun so it dries. So we'll go put this in the sun. I actually probably could just hang it here. It gets good sun here. I want that basket to dry really good. I love my thrift store baskets. They're so cheap and they come in handy. I'll just let that hang there and dry. All right, gonna finish cleaning up the kitchen. Then I'll say goodbye to all of you here in just a minute. I really feel good today. I got a lot of stuff done and it was stuff that needed to be done for a long time. I knew I was forgetting something, the meatballs. I almost forgot to make the meatballs. I knew in the beginning of this video, I told you a whole list of things and I had to make the meatballs. So I'm gonna give you the recipe in the description box. I've had so many tutorials on that, but I'm gonna go ahead and mix up these meatballs for tomorrow. Oh my goodness, Tessie. That's why it's always important to write a list. That way you don't forget. Basically, we just mix this all together. Now this is more than one meal, so I'll freeze the other meal. And then we are going to have baked potatoes in the crock pot. I learned that trick and that's amazing. You just put the baked potatoes in the crock pot and it takes about four hours and it's done. Eating red meat is a delicacy for us because it's so expensive we don't eat it very often all right i got the meatballs done now i will put the sweet and sour sauce on when i make them so i'm not going to worry about that right now i'm just going to go ahead put the lids on these pop them in the freezer the one that we don't eat the two that we don't eat we're just gonna have one actually we might have two tomorrow i better make both of them because i'm not sure how many people i'm going to be feeding so we're just gonna go ahead and put the one in the freezer. Got it all done. <sighs> I do believe now that's everything. I'll check my list here in a minute. <laughs> all right.
right, so we got the strawberries netted up here on the deck. And I will say goodbye to all of you. I have this. I'm probably going to go out and put that in the garden somewhere. I will like to have that again in the fall. But there you go, everyone. We got everything done off the list. Now, I started at 7 a.m. and it's about 4 p.m. for me. <sighs> Took me quite a long day to get it all done, but it got it done. And I can't wait to share with you again tomorrow what I'm working on. I hope that these videos inspire you and entertain you as well. Take care, everyone, and we'll see you guys again tomorrow.